Welcome back to Ramrin Chemistry today in action on Turd Ferga Vision. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, today join me is Sam Young. Say hi, Sam. Hey. That's awesome. Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, Blake Young, filmographer. All right, today what we're going to be doing is a spectrum lab. And so what we're going to be doing, come on over here, is we're going to be trying to record the photons, the actual spectral emission of a light bulb. In this case, we've got helium, and around the room, we've got a bunch of other bulbs as well. And so the lab itself is going to be easy. You're going to need to be in a group of two, and what we're going to have over here, Sam's going to be my partner, I'm going to have a spectroscope. We're both wearing some goofy looking glasses, they're actually called diffraction glasses, but we'll take those off, or I will in a second. Sam's going to wear them just to help me see some things. So come on over here, and let's see if y'all can see what I'm actually seeing through my glasses right now. And, up, uh, do you see all the lines? So the whole purpose of this lab is you're going to be recording these lines on the sheet of paper. Now, right now you can't see any numbers to go with this, but the good thing is by using the spectroscope, this little black box, you're going to actually be able to measure the location of these lines that we're looking at right now. So, Sam's wearing them so he can help me see. And so, like, right now, I'm looking the same way you are on this camera. I see two violet lines, two little lime greens, a yellow, and a red line. I don't know if you can see it as well on there as I can here in real life. But anyway... So what we're going to do at this point is, I can see them, the blues, the greens, the yellows. I'm going to try and use this spectroscope and see if I can't tell Sam where they are. Now, and what Sam's going to do is, this is your data table. Sam is actually going to color in this data table wherever those lines are. So the first one we're doing is helium. So Sam, would you write helium down right there? Any day that Sam actually writes down helium, that would be great. Totally wrecking this video. Well, none Amateurs. None of them are sharp. I can't get a professional. So apparently all the colored pencils are dull. You might want to work on that before you start your lab tomorrow. So the first one we're doing is helium. And I'm going to take my glasses off. And I'm going to try and look through this spectroscope. And see, now when you're doing it, there's a slit. The slit needs to be aimed at the light. Now I'm going to give you a little hint. I've only got one sheet of paper, which is going to stink for Sam. Sometimes you can hold a sheet of paper just like this, and it actually makes this thing... Eat. Now, don't hold it in front of the bulb, obviously. But if I hold it right here, it can actually make the numbers easier to read. Now, I have no idea if this will actually work. I'm going to actually slide my sheet of paper just like that. Oh, my goodness. Game changer. Well, guess what? We're probably going to need another data table now. Hey, Sam, where's another data table? All right. You can have that one since you wrote on it. I'm going to slide this little sheet of paper right here to give me a little background. And now let's see if we can do this. I'm going to look through here and... Uh, oh my goodness. I have no idea if the cameraman can see what I'm seeing right now. Mainly because he's knocking me around the room. Can you see the lines? Can you see... Uh, oh, it's close. There's the lines. So what I need to do is there's a scale there. And I see a purple one right in the middle right now. And it's at 460 nanometers. So it'd be 4.6. So I'm calling it out. Let's see what Sam does. Sam is now going to make a purple line at 4.6. Great. So now we can go back. I see a yellow dead on 600. So let's take a look. Our dead on 6, should I say. And there's Sam making a yellow mark. And we can finish this out. There's a green at 520. And there's a red at... Oh, where's this red at? Uh, good grief, it's very hard to see on here. There's a red at, looks like 640. Now there's probably a few other little colors on here. But what you should probably ask is this. What happens if we see one and it looks like a big red blob? In other words, there's a whole bunch of lines, say between 650 and 7. Just go in and do a little light coloring, the whole thing, if that's what it's looked. Some of the bulbs will be like a big old giant mess of lines. So you'll just have to, you know, use some judgment, but in the end, make it kind of neat looking. And when you are done with each lot, 
please turn off the light. And then what you can do as a group, move on to another light and continue to do this till you've done all the lights. Now, I want you to do one more thing before you're done. Before you're done, I want you to also do one of the fluorescent lights in the classroom. So go back to the classroom, look up. As soon as you figure out how to hold it right side up, hold this thing up in the air, record the spectrum on one of these bulbs. But now, for an added bonus, not only do I want you to do a fluorescent light bulb, I want you to do a plain old-fashioned incandescent light bulb. Oh my goodness, look at this. Now I want you to look close because these things are going to be out of style before you know it. Matter of fact, we're already supposed to be stopping the manufacturing of these. But I want you to, the last one, Woo! Goodness. I want you to stand back and do the same thing, although it's really way too bright. So what we probably need to do is, aha, check this out, America. Make a slit in a box. Good thing I had a slit handy. And now what I'm going to do, oh, this will work. Put, ooh, way better. Now you can look in the box and look at the slit that doesn't make you go blind and write down what you see. So anyway, that's it. That's the whole purpose of the lab. One to another.